Babes, it's Brewster, and yeah, I'm wearing my awesome cape from the first vlog, if you've seen that. I really like it. And I wanted to show you guys some Undertale stuff, because now I am complete Undertale trash. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to show you some things I randomly made for no reason, so let's get this sucker started. Okay, so starting off, it's like a Char's knife made out of pipe cleaners, so... Sorry, I had to pause the movie because I need to pause the, you know, video because I needed to sneeze. Anyway, it's made out of pipe cleaners because I had a lot of them, and yeah, it sucks, but I like it. It's really soft. Yeah, it's really soft. The item I think I will show is the shooter gun thing. Like, it's supposed to be a pointy heart. And if you've seen Undertale in Metaton Spite, um, Alphys will, um, tell you, like, go to the, your phone's act menu, press a button, it'll give you, like, it'll turn your heart upside down, you can shoot bullet thingies. So I decided to make something kind of like that. So yeah. Not a TV is on in the background, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. Anyway, on to the next item. Okay, so this next item is Toriel's Flame Magic. Stuff. Goes in your finger. It's, it's nice. I really like it. It's also soft, made out of pipe cleaners. Most of these items are made out of pipe cleaners, except for a few which have balls in them. And by a few, I mean one. So on to the next item. So this is a bit of a flowy type flower. I didn't have any yellow pipe cleaners, so I settled with orange. And I actually, it smells good because I put some Febreze on it. Don't judge me, I couldn't find any perfume. And it's really pretty. I really like it. it smells nice. So yeah. On to the next. So this is kind of counted in the genocide run. Ish. Wow. I've never seen that Yeah. It's like you're his fluffy buddy or something. It's like this, the sand's blue flames. I couldn't find any blue pipe cleaners, so I settled with, like, bubbles. Bubble type things, so don't judge me. Okay, so this next item is Muff, one of Muffet's little spiders. So cute. It does have eight legs. Made all out of pipe cleaners. Very fluffy. Very purple, very pretty. On to the next item. Okay, so this one I personally like a lot because it's really cool. So it's determination. It's supposed to be connected to Alphys. So I had to kind of like take off the fur on this. So yeah, that's that. And if you call Undyne during the thing, then she will answer you and say about a bunch of different things. And at one point she says something about pink, a screwy stuff, and Alphys gave it to her, and the seaweed that's probably got determination in it. All uh, that new hickey stuff. Of, you know, pressure. Yeah. Changed in so much time, you know? this um, actually kind stole, of moves. You know, so watch this. It's, it's like weird. You know, I, I've never disappointed anyone before because that goes ever in. Expected anything. And yeah, that was and actually unintentional, but I really like it. So on to the next one. Okay, so this is from the Undyne fight. Whenever you she turns you green, you have to kind of, you know, lock all the attacks, be like, mm, mm, mm. yeah, basically. So I thought it might fit. It'd be cool. Added a little white to it as a little shine. It's really soft and cool. On to the next one. Okay, so this is the very last one. I am extremely proud of it. Not really proud, but 
I like it a lot, actually second to last. So it is Asgore's little um, pitchfork thing. Pitchfork. I don't know what else you call it. Staff. Trident. Even though he's kind of like a fire element. Simple. Anywho, actually third to last, I guess. So, this was kind of added in to keep this top part onto this. And this one, this was added also, so it's hard. It was all really hard, okay? So, all of this was really hard to make. Anyway, this is going to be the second last thing I'm going to show you. It was kind of fan, a fan thing. So, both of these items are kind of fan things. So, see this? Okay, so it's supposed to be kind of Toriel's crown. So, it's got a little bit of a tear drop down here and... Just can't leave it alone. Can't so pretty. Really Couple white. It's not safe. I'm hungry, and I don't need the inside food to be happy. The key, my friend, there is to not be There you go. Picky. See. And also, no, I wanted to make this oh, no. Oh, no, 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 character. No, 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 okay, so I got all my stuff, and I'm gonna put it inside the iPad. So I kind of made this character. Um. It's got like a rainbow heart thing first off, and it's supposed to be a human who fell and was mistaken for a monster and became basically the head of the royal guard. And she has determination, so she comes back. And basically, if you're fighting genocide, you have to fight her instead of Asgore. And she was friends with all the monsters that you fought. And when you kill her first, then you have to kill her again because she gets determination. It's a really big plot thing, so this is supposed to be like her crown when she comes back the first time. And this heart is supposed to. She has like all the powers. I know that sounds like super overpowered. Oh no, it's Rosalina from Smash Bros. But. It makes sense. It just makes sense. So yeah, I'm really proud of all this. And this is a necklace. Comes off. I'll tell you what these colors represent, so real quick. So the gold, silver, red, and there's a little bit of pink in this. Represent determination and human souls. The human souls. And then this is for Undyne, this is for Papyrus and Sands, the purple is for Muffet, yellow is for Alphys and Metaton, black is for Chara. And then it's supposed to be kind of like the heart that you find at the end of the game. So I pretty much played through the whole game already, but I just have, I have it pre-recorded and I'm getting the parts on to the internet. So, I hope you all enjoyed this cute, quick little Undertale fan thing. And, anyway, see you all next time. Bye, peeps! Hugs.